Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. Excuse me. Apologies there. Uh, this is for my cousin, whom I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know. I mean, no. Um, Go out. We just got back. Wish I knew how to make this private only for her, but I don't know how to do that. Um, <coughs> um, this is only like my fourth or fifth piece of gun today. Um, the doctor could tell we weren't happy. I think he knew he was in trouble. Damn it. Thankfully, my wife is not going to be on hospice. That scared the scared me. It upset me. It upset her. It scared her. It well, it, I shouldn't be have to go on hospice to get better pain. No, That's one thing that pisses me off. So <clears throat> as for the particular pain that she keeps having. Ugh. Your guess is as good as ours. They think it's a pinch nerve. Um, but he says, you know, continue the current treatment. I'm tired of hearing that. Continue the current treatment, and we will. There's only so many things I can do. And. He's going to look at some of the tests. Look at the test results. What is it, a bone scan he's going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a bone scan. <coughs> which she had to cancel because of the pain. So, I guess the good news is she's not on hospice. Uh... It just seems to me that it's spreading and the doctor isn't really doing as much as he could. Maybe he is. Maybe he is doing. I don't think he is. What? I don't think he is. Um, it's all a matter of interns and who has what. And... You know? Yeah, I agree. I mean, if she had, like, you know, the. Man, Blue Cross Blue Shield, I'm getting the minute. The best Cadillac of treatment. Yeah. So, you know, we did have good news. I need to start looking at it that, from that perspective. We had good news. And that's my wife's not on hospice. And he didn't beat up the doctor. I didn't. Be, oh. I thought you were going to slap him. I was. I wasn't. I'm, okay, I'm still not happy, obviously, but I wasn't sure how to approach this. But he seemed to know right from the moment he walked in the door that we weren't happy with him. And uh, this is how I did it, Jane. I tried, I tried to stay firm, not to raise my voice, and I tried to form things as questions. But I did bring up, you know, a couple of things. I'm not going to get into all that. You know these things. Um, and while we were in the um, the waiting the waiting area, they had I don't know what his name is. This doctor has a TV show. The doctors. The doctors. Well, TV show. Okay. Um, and this. Little boy, is a little boy. Uh -huh. Little boy is taking cannabis treatment. His parents for epilepsy. For epilepsy, his parents had to move from one state to Colorado, so that little boy could get his treatment. I think he's taking cannabis oil or something like that. And one of the books I ordered for my wife is a medical. Come here, lady. It's a medical marijuana book. What my wife has to... 
My wife has to break the freaking law to get the help she needs. I mean, that's not right. And, um, I know medical marijuana has been passed in New Hampshire, but our wonderful governor is stupid. Yeah. I ain't voting for a damn bitch either. And, um, so there's all sorts of gutted the thing. Yeah, exactly. Cunt. So there are all sorts of things that are not going to be covered. And there are only going to be five dispensaries. Will there be one near us? Probably not. We're going to find one. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll still go. I mean, I don't care if it's in Concord or Manch or Lebanon or um, what's that other town? I don't know. Um, well, the Walmart is. Berlin. Claremont. 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 Yeah, Claremont. even if we have to Claremont. go to Berlin. I mean, if we have to go to Berlin for my wife, we're going to go to Berlin. Now, if we go to Berlin, we're going to have to find a place to stay for the night. Because it's going to be an all-day drive. Uh, at least it's not like driving across Texas. Um, which I've done in, you know, north and south and east and west. And uh, that's a long, long, especially when you go to east-west in Texas, that's a long drive. Start out in the morning before sunup, you get to where you're going after sunset. And I was speeding. There ain't nothing out there in West Texas. But anyway, I mean, if we have to go to Concord, if we have to go to, if we have to go to Berlin, we'll go. The thing is, when are they going to open the dispensaries? I talked to some to was it New Hampshire Compassion. Actually, the guy who runs it is on my friends list on Facebook. He's a activist, um, but he's not a keen brown shirt, thankfully. And um, you know, we already asked the doctor about the medical marijuana license or permit or whatever he didn't know he doesn't know shit but i talked to new hampshire compassion and they said oh they're not available yet duh idiot and i'm like you could at least get that going you know and i think i don't remember i'm gonna have to look and of course the way things progress oh. Um, what Johnny Cat? John wants my hamburger. No. Well, he <laughs> yeah, he'll yeah, eat it too. You're not getting your old fatty lucky. No. But, um. He's bitching at us. Come on, John, John. Um. Here. Yum, 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 yum. What, you don't want it, John? The thing is, I don't know the. <sighs> See, um, we, we were buying. Huh? I need to go, you know where, and oh. you know who was in the way. Come on, John. Move, John. John. Oh, John. Um, we were buying yeah. cannabis oil at the co-op. It's not worth it. Yeah, it doesn't have the right ingredients in it. So it's no, it's useless. It, we were just wasting money. Uh, and it wasn't cheap either. No. It was like $15 or something. No. And so... That's probably, you know, you probably want the cannabis oil or the, there's no, something else. There's something else. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but that's probably the best way to use it. But I don't know. Um, now, when it comes to my wife being able to eat, when it comes to my wife being able to keep food down, most of the time she can keep food food down, but not always. Having an appetite, on the other hand, is another matter. She just ate a burger, hamburger, but sometimes she doesn't eat, you know, we eat a few crackers. and So, I mean, the way I feel about laws, I don't know, what do I care? But at the same time, I don't want my wife to get into 
any trouble for doing things that shouldn't be illegal and she's only doing to help herself so I don't know I don't know and we've been trying and trying and trying to contact the internet company and they're never there they haven't been there all day and trying to call track phone and we keep getting disconnected from them so I don't know and now some I have a message up here that there's a something on my one of my videos I guess 